Now, when it comes to promoting your medical and healthcare practices, the website serves as a foundation of all digital marketing activities and acts as your primary online storefront. However, many practices overlook the importance of having a functional website capable of consistently generating new patients. So in this episode, we're going to uncover the real seven reasons why you're not receiving enough high quality patient leads from the website. And we also identify any leaks in your website that may be costing you new patients and explore strategies for increasing your website conversion rate to generate more leads without spending another damn. So welcome to another episode of Online Marketing for Doctors TV and podcast show. The place to be to grow and scale your practice. I'm Huyen Chuong, a strategic marketing consultant for medical and healthcare clinics. My team and I have been in the game for over a decade now, having a hundred of clinics over uh, the last uh, decade thrive with our proven patient generation system. Today, we are going to talk about the seven critical uh, questions about your website. This will determine how good your website is. Okay. Now the first question is I'd like to ask you is that what is your biggest frustration with your website? Um, do you uh, not have enough leads or you have low quality leads or unqualified leads or you have problem turning leads into patient? or competition is killing you right now, or all of the answers that I mentioned above. If you selected all of the answers that, are, that I mentioned that, so it indicates that your website is experiencing both traffic and conversion issues, which is quite common based on our observation of thousands of medical websites over the years. If your website traffic is below 500 visits per month, it suggests that uh, you have a traffic problem. When your website lacks a sufficient um, visitor, the likelihood of attracting adequate number of prospective patients decreases. Coupled with the low conversion rate of your website, this explains why you're experiencing a low and inconsistent flow of new patients. The second question is, does the quality of your website reflect the quality of your work? And if your answer is, yes, my website looks incredible, or no, my website looks like it's from 1999. Um, in the postcard number uh, 111, we talk about why uh, my prospective patients are not working. And one of the reasons is that your procedure, procedure's perceived value is not greater than price. Meaning the website is not building up the perceived value of your services. So when users see your website looking dated and I say stickily unpleasing, it would align with how uh, prospective patients perceive your clinic. You can showcase a tour of your gorgeous office and surgical suite, your rapid recovery process and your superior aftercare support on, on your website via video presentation that would be more impressive. Uh, this could be done uh, even before prospects begin inquiring about the first consultation. The value needs to be established through all the touch points from the premium appearance of the website to the use of authentic and high quality videos and images across both the website and social media platforms. Uh, since we are offering high value procedures, Consider the experience when you walk into a, some luxury stores like MS, Louis Vuitton, or Burberry, right? What is your first initial impression? Is the ambience of space and luxury, isn't it? And what do you expect to pay? You would expect to pay more, right? Similarly, your website must exude a premium look to enhance the perceived value of your clinic and your procedures. Now the next question is, does your website position you as the authority in town? Now position you yourself as an authority or expert in your business can be um, a powerful way to attract new clients and customers and build trust and credibility with your target audience. Here are a few tips for you to do it. Now the first thing you need to define your niche to be seen as an authority or expert in your business. It's important to focus on a specific area of expertise or niche. This will help you stand out from the competition and be seen as your target audience go-to resource. Um, 
create you can create valuable content one of the best way to establish yourself as an authority or expert is to create useful high quality content that addresses the needs and the interests of your target audience content can include blog posts videos podcasts webinars and other forms of content you can leverage social media Social media is a powerful tool for building your brand and establishing yourself as an authority and all expert in your industry. Use platforms like LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook to promote your content and connect with other thought leaders in your field. This will also help show to your prospective patients how popular you are in your field by seeing the numbers of followers and also the engagement between your posted content and your followers. Now the next thing is the media mentions. Have you been featured in uh, popular media outlets for your expertise? If so, ensure to prominently display these mentions on your website, particularly above the fold uh, of uh, your homepage and service pages. If you require assistance with public relations or seek additional media exposure, please reach out to us. We can help you secure uh, coverage in the most prominent media outlets. The next thing you can do is get published. Writing articles for industry publication or being quoted in the media can also be a great way to establish yourself as an authority or expert as we discussed above. If you consider yourself as an expert in the subject, we would recommend writing and publishing a book. These can be uh, distributed via channels such as Amazon and Audible. We talk more about how to establish you as a go-to expert in our book called Fully Booked. This can help to build your brand and to raise your authority within your industry. Next thing you can do is speak and present. Being a speaker in, at industry conferences or events or even hosting webinars can be a great way to establish yourself as an authority or expert in your field. You can showcase your knowledge and exp expertise and connect with other industry professionals. Now, if you don't have much time in creating the live webinars, I would recommend creating an automated webinars that can generate leads uh, for your clinic on your on autopilot. So we uh, feature this online course on our website. So I leave the link in the show note for you. Now you can have other patients and doctors discuss um, about your expertise, which can be highly beneficial. And please ensure that this is permitted in your country. Okay, particularly having other experts or doctors, surgeons speak about your skills can significantly enhance your authority. And remember that building authority and expertise takes time, consistency, and patience. However, you know, by consistently creating valuable content and leveraging social media, networking and collaborating, speaking and presenting and getting published, you can position yourself as an authority or expert in your industry and reap the rewards that come with it. Now, the next question is, is your website keyword optimized to attract your dream patients? Your answer could be, yes, I'm consistently and predictably attracting high value patients or no, I'm not getting enough high value patients. What is your answer here? One of the main reasons why your website is not attracting your dream patient is because your website is not optimized for SEO or search engine optimization. In the postcard number uh, 110, five must know benefits of SEO for getting more patients consistently. We mentioned the top five benefits of SEO for med medical and healthcare practices. And three of the top reasons are, first of all, high quality leads. SEO generates high quality leads by targeting patients interested in your health services. Or for instance, when a user searches for a GP doctor near me on Google, your relevant business pages can appear on the search results if optimized properly. Consequently, if uh, the probability of this prospect engaging and converting upon visiting your website is quite high. And now the next benefit is brand awareness. Consistently occupying the top search result spot boosts brand awareness. Even if your website links aren't clicked each time they appear, consistent exposure helps your practice stay firmly ingrained in the minds of prospective patients and make prospective patients 
think that you are the expert in the topic recommended by Google. That the next benefit is brand authority. SEO contributes to building brand authority, a critical success factor for healthcare businesses. Google recognizes high patient engagement levels on your site from relevant search results. Establishing your practice, uh, practice as a domain expert in providing meaningful healthcare products or service. Now, the next question is, does your website have a chat widget? You typically encounter live chat widget on most e-commerce website, right? But surprisingly, many medical and healthcare practices have not yet considered adding it to the website. Research indicates that 74% of US adults prefer live chat over any other type of customer engagement channel. But live chat isn't just beneficial for your uh, customer or patient, it's also a vital tool for clinics looking to increase conversions. Um, a case in point, 79% of companies say that implementing the live chat has had a positive impact on sales revenue and brand loyalty. And one of the ways that live chat improves conversion rate is through increased customer engagement. I've always uh, emphasized to my team that speed is a new currency. We need to streamline the process so that prospective patients can reach out to you as quickly as possible. I typically advise our clients to respond to inquiries within one hour of receiving them. With live chats, prospect receive instant response from your end while they may still be waiting for your competitors to get back to, to them, which could take a day or two, right? And one of the reasons prospects love live chats is because it's 100 times faster than most of other digital communication channels. And with live chat, prospects can quickly obtain answers to their queries without needing to engage with somebody in person or over the phone, particularly during odd hours or while they are at work. Additionally, younger demographics often prefer chatting over speaking on the phone, by the way. The next question is, is your website using lead magnet? Your answer could be yes, multiple lead magnets for different main services, or yes, just one, or no, or what is a lead magnet? Now, you need to give prospects a reason to give you their email address, or they want, okay? Imagine uh, meeting somebody you find interesting, but not exchanging contact information. Unless you happen to meet again somewhere, you're likely to forget about that person in a short period of time, right? But sometimes those first encounters are awkward, but it doesn't feel quite right to ask for contact information or to give it out uninvited. In business relationships, lead generators are a great excuse to exchange contact information without being awkward. Think of the exchange um, going something like this. Uh, hey, let me send you that information I was talking about. What is your email address? Uh, lead generators that capture emails, make sure that when someone finds you interesting, uh, you are getting their contact information. So stop missing out on those opportunities to get those digits, okay? And as part of OMD's uh, five-step sales funnel for medical and healthcare uh, practices, we create lead gener generators such as ebooks, videos, quizzes, calculators such as bonus calculator, pregnancy calculator to capture prospects' emails and phone numbers. Given that more than 55% of website visitors typically live without making any inquiries, our focus is on capturing and nurturing these significant pool of potential leads. The next question is, does your website have a qualification form? that filters out unqualified uh, leads. Prospect qualification is a part of the sale process where we determine whether or not a prospect is a good fit for the product or service we are selling. Clinics should have an ideal customer profile and compare the prospect's characteristics to the profile. If the prospect is not a good fit, the clinics won't provide services to them and let them know it as well. For example, in order to filter out unqualified uh, candidates for our clients who an eye surgery clinic in Sydney CBD, uh, this client by the way has been with us in 2017, uh, we asked prospect this question. 
Has your vision uh, and your uh, prescription been stable over the last 18 months? Because if they don't have a stable vision over the last 18 months, they are not eligible for the laser eye surgery. So it's best to fill them out. We use the ad web form pre-screening questions to our client's website web forms to help filter uh, out non-serious inquiries and ensure a smooth booking process. For example, we add in something like, hair transplant is a procedure that comes with a certain cost. Please tell us if you need help in funding this procedure. They can say something like, I have enough saving and I might not need a financial support. I work full time, I might uh, still need a payment plan or I work part time 20 hours a week and I need payment plan or I don't work and I don't have any savings. Another question is, have you seen another hair transplant clinic for consultation before? The answer could be um, yes or no. Okay, By answering these seven questions, you gain insights into the effectiveness of your current website. And if you like a comprehensive audit and a 360 degree overview of your website, please reach out for a discovery call. We schedule a website audit and a strategy section for you. We also leave the link to our How Good Is Your Website quiz on the show notes so you can do it a two minutes quick checkup to see how well your website is performing now. Okay, that wraps up another episode of OMD TV and Podcast Show. If this was helpful to you, Please subscribe to the OMD TV and podcast show so you won't meet any future episode. And please share this episode with your staff and colleagues. And if you want to learn more about online marketing for doctors offers and how our team can help you generate more new patients and referring doctors as well via creating a high converting website for medical and healthcare uh, practices, Please reach out to us and book a 15 minutes discovery call. And uh, as I mentioned above, I leave the link to it in the show note below. So thank you very much, very much for listening today. And I really appreciate your attention. And I hope to talk to you soon in our discovery call. Bye for now.